Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, ticker symbol HCMC. In this video, I'm going to talk about, just like the title suggests, I bought more shares on HCMC. I'm going to tell you about why I did that, you know, what my goal for it is. I'm also going to be talking about the patent review that is coming up soon for HCMC and then really about the lawsuit and other factors that everyone is wondering about. So in this video, if you guys found it useful or enjoyed it, feel free to click that like button down below. It costs you guys nothing but help get this video spread out to the whole community. And if you guys want to stay up to date and watch more, be sure to click that subscribe button as well. On that, let's get straight into the video. So we are at 0.006 for HCMC and this is where I set up my buy order. Now, for those of you who are on Trading212, I'm not aware for other trading brokerages, but on Trading212, you know, people tend to not get their orders filled at the prices they set. So make sure you set a tick or two above it and that will normally do the trick. So before I kind of go on about why I bought more shares on HMC and, you know, at what price I'm buying and potentially going to be selling at for partial for my partial shares, let's take some of the data first. So this is the short data for HMC. And right now, you know, we are looking at something normal, 32.46 for September the 13th, which is obviously yesterday. So nothing too extreme, you know, out of the kind of the um, short data here. Uh, 42, 32 is still, you know, quite... It's a decent number and so there is nothing too much to be worrying about again like i said guys the price dropping for hmc shouldn't matter too much for all of you guys who are invested for the lawsuit and even for the long term as the price is representing you know its current value not the value when it beats the lawsuit not the value when it grows as a company in the future so i don't really care and let's talk about the pattern review so the pattern review is obviously PM um, asking to review the pattern, talking about how previous ones existed so that the pattern shouldn't actually be a pattern. And, you know, my assumption is that the pattern review won't even go through. The PTAB will actually deny PM's um, request. But again, you know, nothing is too certain for this. My personal opinion is that it wouldn't. And this is one of the reasons why I'm buying. So this is speculation reasons. I do want to go off uh, and say that I'm not a financial advisor. So to take what I say with a grain of salt, these is no, by no means financial advice. These are only for entertainment purposes only. You know, one of my assumptions is that the request won't actually be accepted. And when that happens, you know, I'm going to be assuming, um, you know, some people are also going to buy into this because one of the things right now people may be um, worried about, so in terms of, a lot of people have been talking about right now there are some money that are sitting on the sideline. Now these um, money, we call them the sideline money. I feel like they're waiting on you know, catalysts that will help them, that will give them a better chance of winning. And obviously if the pattern is, is not going to get reviewed, if the pattern is still there, obviously that will be a bigger reason for you to gain to HMC. Now, it won't be too much. It won't be, I'm not talking about you know 200-300% boost. But I feel like that this could set kind of a spot in HMC. And so that's one of the reasons why I'm buying more. Now, assuming that, say, the pattern review does get accepted, what will happen then? Well, when the pattern um, review gets accepted, then the whole case, so the case they are having right now, will get paused until there is a result on the pattern review. Now, normally, how long does a pattern review take? It could take up until, you know, a year. So it could take, again, this is up to a year. I'm not saying it will take a year, but this is up to a year. And so, you know, if that does happen, we could wait, have to wait a year before then the lawsuit gets continued again. And then that could take a very long time. Now, if the pattern reviews does get accepted, I'm gonna only gonna assume that the price is gonna drop even more. And by then I'm gonna be buying more shares for HCNC, but that's a different story for a different day. But you know, if it does get accepted, then I'm only gonna assume the price is gonna drop more because then we'll have to take even longer. And then people may not want to be waiting for that length of the time. And so they will be getting rid of their shares. And to a point where obviously when the pattern reviews does get accepted uh, and then, or rather when, you know, they do agree that the pattern is still there, it's, um, that PM was wrong, then the money will flow back in. And then that's because when that's when the law case, law, the lawsuit will continue again. And so, you know, that could take a whole year for that thing to happen. And if that does, I do want to say this again, we are possibly going to be seeing the price dropping. But what if it doesn't? What if they deny the request to review the pattern? Well, if that's the case, you know, right now, I do want to say if that's the case, we are looking like, you know, the end of 2022, the end, the start of kind of maybe even jam Feb of March of 2023 will be likely when we get the results for HCMC. So this could take very long. Now, obviously, 
it could even take very short. We could be looking at you know half a year into 2022 and we could see a result. But going off with a bigger, you know, this is a safer kind of assumption is the end of 2022 to the start of 2023. And so that's when I think the lawsuit is going to end. But again, guys, I'm willing and I'm able to hold on for that long with my share with um, you know the ones I'm buying. And so that it's um, something that I've accepted and that is something I'm aiming for in two, three years time. And so that's in terms of if you guys think when I feel like the whole lawsuit is going to end, if the pattern review doesn't get accepted end of 2022 and of start of 2023, if it does get accepted and they have to review the pattern, then we may be looking at 2023, end of 2023 or 2024 for it to all be sorted. So there is a lot of um, factors to be considering here. Now, let's talk about why I'm buying to HMC. Now, again, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm buying to HMC because I feel like it's an opportunity. I know a lot of people are going to be calling that, that I'm trying to pump the stock right now. But, you know, by no means am I trying to pump this stock. Again, guys, feel free how you want to buy it. So let's go back to the kind of previous two times where I talked about buying to HTMC. So I recently, on my videos, I've been getting uh, a lot of comments where they're saying that HTMC is a scam stock. HTMC is a pump stock. And again, this is actually one of the reasons why I want to buy into HTMC. Because the last previous times when I felt um, my, comment, my comment section had this amount of, you know, people saying that it was a spam, it's blah, blah, blah. HMC went up both times and you know again this is kind of going to that Warren Buffett's quote of you know um, be fearful when the market is greedy but then be greedy when the market is fearful and you know I feel like in this time it's uh, a lot of people are feared a lot of people are scared and so you know there is multiple factors for why I got in let's go back to you know the previous two times where I talked about I've bought more shares on HMC Going back to the March, April, in this time, I talked about how I bought more shares of HMC, not only to average down my shares, but also as a swing trade opportunity. Then later on, you know, we saw the increase of, you know, over 200%. Now, I didn't actually take um, profit at the very top. I managed to get over 100 plus percent return on that. I didn't sell most of my shares. I only sold, you know, a minority. Uh, it was roughly 30% of my holdings at that time. And then I waited, you know, I didn't, I didn't do anything even when the price dropped. I could have sold all of my shares and made, you know, a very nice profit, but I held on. That was because my plan originally was to take partial shares for a swing trade. Then going down here, as we see the price going down here, when the motion to dismiss um, for PM passed, the price obviously dropped. I talked about here that I bought more shares because I knew that we were going to come back and even stronger. And so I bought more shares at 0 0.006. I then set up a sell order at 0 0.0012. For those of you who have been keeping up to date, obviously know that. And so when we did, um, you know, obviously came back and this was another 100% game. Now, not most of my, only, only, uh, so it was, I was set, I was selling partial shares, but only partial of that partial shares actually got filled because that order didn't get fully filled. And so I still made over 100% um, on that shares. And now again, going fast forward, you know, roughly two months, you know, again, I'm buying more shares right now. Again, so one of the factors is because, firstly, a lot of people right now are um, very pessimistic in terms of HTMC, and I think that's because the price is going down very low. So I personally think the price is a bargain. Now, I do assume the price may drop even more. You know, 0 0.004 seemed very far off, but now it seems quite close. But if it does go down to there, I'm only going to buy more. Another reason is that this again, this trade has um, a partial reason for swing trading for HMC. You know, I'm only going to assume that we're going to see the price kind of go up towards this 200 and made that I feel like is very likely. And even if it does, you know, it'll be roughly around the 60, 70% game. Now, again, I'm only going to be selling um, a small amount of it. And then finally, you know, we are only going to see more catalysts and more positives coming in for HMC. You know, the earnings coming up. I wouldn't want to say soon, but obviously there is earnings coming up. There is the company growing. I'm only going to see more and more capital flowing into HMC. So that's why I personally feel like right now would be a good opportunity for me to buy into HMC. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press a like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about HMC and comment down below what you want to see next. On that, enjoy your day.